Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 16, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did hit the top of the bullish band and then pulled back. So we'll probably, it's going to be quite noisy until the Fed's uh, announcement. So we'll probably see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, probably the 50, and uh, and then yes, um, can't be fairly obvious that they're going to reassure that um, everything is just fine and so on. And then the market will just continue as it has um, been doing for quite some time. So the 50 moving average, the bottom of the bullish band, the middle of the bullish band, and also the 20 exponential have all offered uh, support. And if we were to break the break down from here, then the 4,000 basically should be as far as this would go. But uh, pullbacks are kind of expected at this point before that announcement. 20, you can see the technical leaders are fairly flat. MACD is kind of flat at this moment. Uh, Stochastic is flat. CGI is in bullish territory. And the RSI is uh, slightly bearish at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is uh, much more bearish, but this is probably as far as this will go as we hit the 50 moving average and then bounced. So um, we see on um, lower time frames that we'll have a, a turnaround. This is the daily time frame. And so you can see that back here, we uh, pull back or rallied from the 50 moving average. The same goes for here, same goes for here. And we can go all the way back here that the 50 moving average has been massive support in the past. If we were to break below this, then we could be dropping towards, give or take, a 33,000. Uh, 33, that could be our target or these previous lows here, roughly uh, 33,230, give or take. You can see that the technical indicators are all uh, showing that the momentum is to the downside as we have had seven days where this has basically been just selling off. You can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CGI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ hit the top of the bullish band, and um, yes, we'll probably see this pull back towards the 20 exponential down here at 13,770, give or take. The 50 moving average right underneath, if this basically breaks, then we have 13,500, and then 13,000 should be the absolute bottom of this market. We have the 200 moving average also moving in this direction, and um, that should offer massive support. We haven't actually tested a 200 moving average. We have to basically broke down from the 200 moving uh, right here. This was basically last year. But when pandemic hit otherwise we haven't even gotten close to the 200 moving average so we are in a definite in a long-term uptrend and uh, pullbacks are definitely buying opportunities so at the moment we're getting very overstretched nearing uh, overbought conditions and um, technical indicators are basically pulling back so um yes selling a buying opportunity around this area here the same for here and same for here if the 200 moving average breaks then we are going to see this drop significantly but we didn't see it. We had last time we saw that well, basically in the when the pandemic started. Uh, yes, let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX very similar. We got very overstretched here, and it looks like we are pulling back towards the twenty exponential. The fifty is also offering uh, should offer support, and so is the bottom of the bullish band. While the fifteen thousand level should be a massive support in this market. So 16,000 should be the target to the upside. Technical indicators are, uh, well, fairly bullish. MACD is flat, the so stochastic is bullish, the CCI is uh, bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE continues to rally. We're up at 7,185. Technical ind indicators are very bullish, but it is very overstretched at this point. So, so... 7,200 is uh, basically the target here. We're just underneath and a uh, pullback could be expected when we get to that point. You can see that the RSI is at 68. We're outside of the bullish band here. So pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 7,081 or the 50 moving average at 7,000. 
both of those should offer massive support. So let's look at the China 50. Yes, China 50 has hit the 50 moving average. My question now is whether or not we rally from this point or we continue towards the 200 moving average before going higher. If the 200 moving average breaks, then we could see, see this basically drop towards 16,000 or even lower than that. Technical indicators are all showing that momentum is to the downside as we have basically been selling off since this massive rally to the upside. So yes, break above the, this candlestick here and we can see this going towards 19,000. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our news videos and good luck and thank you very much.